Right, everyone, after that cleaning nightmare, um, the car's now clean. The sun's come out, so um, no more rain forecast, so it should be nice and dry uh, now till tomorrow. So the car should stay um, looking clean um, when I take it back. Um, but what I thought I'd do is have a quick look at the um, infotainment system in here, because um, actually that's one of the best things about it. Um, it's quite packed with um with tech this little car um obviously you've got this great big touchscreen here it must be more definitely bigger than six inches um but it gives you your sat nav and it gives you um obviously your radio stations all that kind of stuff and um, you've got dab you've got bluetooth streaming obviously fm but no one listens to that anymore um and all the rest of these bits and bobs so you've got navigation in here built in i think it's based on tom tom so that's pretty cool um you've got your music you've got all sorts of apps you can have photo and videos haven't used any of that so i doubt you will either um but it looks like it's sort of androidy based um gives you info about the car air quality what's all that Ooh. okay cool so you can um not breathe in the fumes off the m25 so i suppose that's quite cool as well uh, what else have we got in here? Let's have a look. Uh, obviously, you've got your phone, um, info. Oh, I looked at that one a minute ago, didn't we? Pay attention. Um, settings in here. Oh, you've got driver assistance. So you've got traffic sign recognition. You've got lane keep assist, anti braking, blind spot monitoring. They all work because um, I've been on the motorway and you get little lights in the lights in the mirrors. Um, so that's neat. Um, all of this works. And actually, this uh, this car has uh, traffic uh, or sorry, speed camera recognition. Um, and it gives you a little bong as you approach camera, even if it's not uh, navigating anywhere. So again, that's um, not that we, you know, not that you speed in a car intentionally, but it's blinking handy to have. Um, what else have we got in here? Car config. Oh, it's all the all the nerdy stuff, access and lights and wiping and welcomes and all of that scuff that you can spend hours setting up to your own uh, your own needs and parking assistance. So I spotted this one a couple of times. Um, it has front and rear sensors in a camera. So what does the what does the camera do if you said it? Oh yeah, look, you can mess about with um, various bits and bobs in there. Um, sensors, I suppose that's sensitivity. Um, I wasn't sure if it had um, parking assist um, when I looked at that originally, but you know, it's all these all these neat little bits and bobs. And the EV programming that we've looked at before, you can charge it immediately. You can postpone your charging, or you can program it. So that's cool. Um, what else have we got in here? Car config. Yeah, that's all your bits and bobs. Um, it also has uh, CarPlay, which is really, I can't show you that because I'm using my iPhone to film it, but you have CarPlay. I'm not sure if it's got Android Auto, but CarPlay is just genius. Once you've had it, it's it's so, so useful if you're used to having an iPhone. It basically turns your car into a big iPhone. Um, the stereo in it, um, I know that's something that people don't really cover too much, but let's have a little listen because I actually think... For a standard stereo, and it's a standard, but it's bloody good actually. So let's have a little turn it up. So yes, thanks to Coldplay. Um, but yeah, you get a little bit of bass. Um, it's not particularly clear, um, but I have sort of fiddled about with the settings that are in there somewhere. Um, and yeah, it's it's really reasonable, really decent. So you know, you've obviously got big old speakers in there. Um, you've got some tweeters on top of the dash over there. So they are uh, components, which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's, it sounds really good actually for a, for a standard stereo. Um, obviously down here, you've got your your climate control, all those bits and bobs, um, and you've got your air conditioning, your front what's it, your back what's it. A um, couple of ports in there, got an AUX port, two USB ports, they're normal USBs for this one. Um, and the other thing that we haven't really talked about, I'm going to turn that off, hang on, um, is this down here. So we've got the regenerative braking um, that I only started playing with yesterday. Um, so basically what this does, if you've got two drive modes, you've got drive, which is your normal one, and uh, regenerative braking. So basically when you lift off the accelerator, the car actually comes to a comes to a stop or well, not quite a stop but it slows down so you can one pedal drive now it's, it is a bit weird i've got to say it's a bit weird until you're used to it and even then it's still a bit weird um, but what it basically does is it charges the batteries up when you take your foot off um and sort of eats out your mileage so if you were sort of a bit desperate or you're really trying to be hyper miley um, that's quite neat i'll probably try that on the way back tomorrow i was a bit scared to try it when i pick the car up 
um, for obvious reasons. But I'll, now I've done it a, a little bit, used it a little bit, I'll probably give that a go um, tomorrow when I take the car back. Um, down here as well, we've got a wireless charging pad. So that's really nice to have. Um, automatic, uh, automatic electric brake, a couple of cup holders. Got a decent little shelf up here for passenger phones. Glove box is tiny. But yeah, I mean, you know, multifunction steering wheel, got all your bits on here, your phone stuff, allows you to go through all the screens up here, all these bits and bobs, it's all, you can change it all and mess about with it all, customise it to your liking. Um, there's a little graph in there that shows you what the car's doing, if it's charging the batteries when you're going along or whether it's doing something else. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's all, you know, it's neat. It's, you've got your TFT screen in here as well. You know, for a, for a Renault, Cruise control, that's all those bits and bobs. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, you know, I've, I've not said it lightly when I've, you know, been in been in this car and talked about this car. It's a really, really nice place to sit. And it's very un-Renault. I mean, these, these are really nice. We've got like a sort of denim fabric on the doors. And the seats are sort of, well, I guess it's pleather. Um, and even this little... This little thing up in the roof i'm guessing that's sort of kind of like techie type thing but the pattern up there so there's lots of little nice little things in here that just make it a really nice place to sit and as i said very un reno but it's been a long time since i've been in a reno but um judging by this things have come on leaps and bounds since i last sat in one mine was a i had a mcgann 225 uh, way back in the day for those of you that used to lust after hot hatches i had one of those and that was cool but it was nothing like this inside um so yeah there you go so that's a little tour of the inside of the zoe um before it goes back tomorrow so i've not really done that um yeah you could be sitting here for not a lot of money and saving dolphins while you're doing it i think it's well worth a look anyway thanks for watching see you next time